Hey everyone, so before we get into the introduction and the rest of this video, we just wanted to give a special shout out and thank you to the individual who created our new introduction. Thank you to our viewer Tommy M. He kindly sent us, he created on his own, he's a very creative man. He actually formerly worked for MTV and NBC News as graphics man, so what a cool history he has for his work resume and thank you Tommy for kindly providing us this beautiful new intro which we will use from here on out. Yes, thank you so much. Hey there everyone, I'm Michael. And I'm Justin. We are Prego Italia, living our Italian dream. We're American expats, formerly from California, now living full-time in beautiful Scalia, Italy. But we're not there today. <laughs> today we're in our neighboring town. We love it, San Nicola Archella. Archella. <laughs> Been here a few times with you folks before, but we're very happy because friends of ours, Patrick and Rodrigo, are back in Yay. America, but they have purchased and officially Hi, closed. <laughs> on a beautiful historic home here in Centro Storico of San Nicola Artella. Um, today they had us come back for the- I'm actually kind of jealous over it. It's so it's pretty. really cool. <laughs> so uh, we were excited. I got to see it, of course, when they made their offer and went through the procedures when they were here quite a few months ago, but the sale officially closed. Uh, they had me stop by today and made sure the previous owners cleared out everything they were supposed to, and they did. So I'm <laughs> sending them that information, but we were able to film today and show you the beautiful structure and all the work ahead it has, but they will polish it up to be a glorious gem. We know that. Yes, of course. And we will share that with you folks today. Thanks, Patrick and Rodrigo, for letting us share this. And we're going to end this little intro the same way we always do before we show you guys the property. We're going to say, if you've not done so yet, then please go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. It's the easiest way to help this channel grow. And we love the comments. Keep them coming. Enjoy the episode ahead. We'd like to congratulate our friends Rodrigo and Patrick. This is a beautiful home here. It's a historic property, ground floor, top floor is separate apartment. This would be their ground floor. And with great imagination and taste, they will be completely gutting and restoring this awesome property. But let me go ahead and show you folks around. This is the entry room. And of course, this over here is intended as a kitchen. But with their good taste, I know they will be changing rooms around and having all sorts of things done. They'll be redoing the stairs, I know they told us, down to the lower level. But I'll show you what's currently here in the, the condition, because I know folks have great interest to see before and afters. And of course, in the future, when it's done, we'll happily show you the after for her. Nice room here. 
They can either do a dining room here, have a large open kitchen dining area at entry, or whatever their heart desires. Currently, this is a very small kitchen, and currently in this location is the bathroom, which I believe they'll be switching around to make an ensuite for the room behind. Little laundry alcove here. But trust me, folks, we know they'll make it very different. Cute little arch, though. Hello. Michael and I are so in love with the tile in this main sojourno here. It's so pretty. Cool doors. These will refinish beautifully. I have a feeling Patrick and Enrico will probably go to a cool wood finish. It'd be great doors, though. Awesome. Very cool tiles here. Cross their fingers, they save them, but that's of course up to them. They could most logically make this a sojourno. And the kitchen over there, open wall into the diner at the entry. And, I and the floor in this room is so pretty. Too. And from my recollection before, this would be their guest room for one of their family members. Lovely room here. Pretty cool floor too as well. Nice size room, definitely. Nice room for one person with a matrimonial bed there. And then the bathroom on the other side, they could either obviously have opened up to the, and reconfigured to this uh, main room here. Opening up on that wall, the bathroom probably. Or potentially en suite for this room, but we'll see in the future. This is cool out here. Awesome French doors. Oh, the doors. Are nice. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm assuming the guys will keep these original doors. They're just absolutely amazing. Obsessed with these. They'll refinish lovely, even though they're one pane. Definitely awesome. I mean, that's just cool. Those are just cool. Totally cool. And I do know from when I was here with the fellas when they were here in town, this awesome terrace, the covering will be removed. This whole glass structure opened up all the way. Which will make it so much better. Oh yeah, so right mm -hmm. over here, a little outdoor kitchen would be amazing, or whatever they'd like to do. Beautiful tile work I know they'll do out here, and this will just be awesome. And this uh, area I can't walk out on, because it's got this little structure here in the way. I don't know if this little door's open. Let's see. There is a key. <laughs> And I'm not going to try it, it looks stuck. <laughs> and also, I really don't want to go venturing out there. It's really not working and I'm not going to go. So I'm going to show you all this way. Here we go. And so this would be opened up without the glass. So it will be a continuous, beautiful outdoor terrace. Absolutely stunning view. Architectural bridge here is just beautiful. It's gorgeous well, bridge. Italian, yes. Right across the beautiful views of all the other areas. Absolutely beautiful. And then out here, if I do a far reach, you get a sea view to this structure, side of the structure to the side. It's a much grander view if I were out further. A beautiful sea view there. Santa Cola Archella has gorgeous views. Even the mountains are beautiful. So they get a beautiful view of mountain and sea on this gorgeous terrace. Pretty cool. I'll continue down below. I still have to film down at the lower level, <laughs> which I know they have a beautiful master suite, I believe, down there. And then we have a beautiful garden to show you folks. Yes. And they'll have a very nice sea view down there with mature fruit trees. That's a plus. But this is really cool. Michael and I um, were just talking. Centro Storico houses are really cool. And um, this one is a nice ground floor. Yeah, and San Nicola Archella has a very cool thing going on because their town is actually mobility accessible because yeah. ramps are throughout. So it is a hill town, the Gentra Storico, but they have it where it's ramps. It's really cool. So everything's paved as ramps instead of having a succession of stair after stair after stair. So that was very well planned for this community. And um, it's very nice for people with mobility yes. issues. You could live in the Gentra Storico here very, very comfortably. But it's a beautiful day. There's no air here, and it's actually quite pleasant inside. 
of this structure. So, uh, Mike and I were just talking about the doors. We just find absolutely fascinating. Oh, they're so pretty. And I know that I know Patrick and Rodrigo will appreciate their historic beauty, and they will just finish up so beautifully. I'm just obsessed with them. They're gorgeous. I love this framing. So much to do here. That'd be so beautiful. Well, let me show the folks the ceiling. You'll see how it's built here with this iron beam under there. So everything there getting all redone. I know they're bringing someone in and having it yeah. done while they're in America to their specifications. So when they come back, it'll be a beautiful place for them to live and love. So it's really cool. It's a nice room in here. And this will be this to join us. So very nice room here for a TV area where the sofa wall here is really nice. You could really get in nice furniture, right, Mike? Yes. <laughs> Now, a lot of times you can't fit full-size sofas, but you really could. You could, you could, yeah. Uh, the neat thing is, I mean, um, I'm just going to say, space-wise, you could even do the L sofa. Yes. Here, and it'd be very nice. Yeah, we notice a sectional could fit here, or a beautiful full-size with end tables, coffee tables, side chairs. So really a nice space with gorgeous views. So the one thing that I will say is um, the floors in this room and that one, I know it's not our property, so we don't have to say it, but God, I love these floors. They're just, they're, they're really cool. So pretty. Yep. Every tile is perfect. There's not a break on mm -hmm. a single one of them. Fingers crossed they keep them. But hey, if they go for a continuous flow of something different, that's their choice. It'll still be beautiful. Um, you know, whatever they do is their choice, and I'm sure it'll be lovely. I know they have great taste. You could go classic Italian here, you could have beautiful chandelier, or you could go mod, whatever you'd like to do for your decor, but um, work with keeping the fingers crossed for that classic Italian look, it'll be so nicely suited here. So, yeah. so whatever you guys do, Patrick and Rigo, we know it'll be beautiful. And I love the doors here into this front room. Nice light throughout too. Nice blank canvas. And I know they'll get this converted into a really nice open kitchen. Most likely dining, and it'll probably be stunning. So the one thing that I am going to say in regards to um, the property is because we've been in a few other properties across um, the Calabria area that are old like this. And a lot of times they're all beautiful, but a lot of them don't have such great natural lighting. Mm -hmm. That's what I noticed too. It's this appealing. one has a tremendous amount of natural it lighting. It really does. Window right by the front door. The front door itself is very wide. And I'm sure they'll get an entire new front door, probably with uh, light paint, so it'll let in even more light. And then as we've already shown in this room, which is directly behind it, you've got the um, terrace, which is completely open as well. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of natural light that comes in here, and I like yes, that Yes, they lot. definitely can do it. And I know their kitchen will come out great, and they'll restructure the bathroom over there beautifully. Well, I'm going to show everybody down here, Michael. You can't do this one. It's way too steep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Before you go, I'm not sure if you've talked about it, but there's just, you know, um, it's the little details mm -hmm. that make a place very pretty. Original and doors in place. Nice. Awesome. Like even this archway yeah. right there. Even if they remove the so, whole wall. It's so cute. That arch is just so... Yes, perfect. I have a feeling they will be taking out the whole wall and getting it supported properly and opening this room and kitchen up. No, but, <laughs> no, they could, I mean, it's an arch, but they can do that somewhere. Now, this is interesting. So this is way too steep for you, Mike, even for me. And, um, I could get down it pretty easy. <laughs> I yeah. wouldn't be able to get up. But I know, but I know they're reconfiguring their stairs. I remember they said that. So we'll show in the future when it's done. I must be very cautious. Oh boy. So I'll show everybody here. My, my little Birkenstocks here are at an angle. At least I came prepared and they're not so slippery, but see yeah. As he talks about <laughs> the properties having no stairs and he's laying <laughs> And I'm in, in sandals going through this, but okay, here we go. So I'm going down and I will share with the folks here, right here, it's a very low headroom, but I do know for a fact that the basement level here, the lower level, will be dug out quite a few feet. So at that stair, this whole area here, the floor will be lowered because it's very low headroom. I'm 6'2", and I'm having to stand here fine, just hitting my head, and I have to duck through this entry. So uh, they will be getting it lowered, and we'll have a full, larger height. This whole area will be all opened up 
floor will be lowered and to show you case in point of how it will be lowered, it will be, oh, I just bumped my head, <laughs> ouch. Um, these stairs will be gone and that floor coming down will become this level. So they're gonna gain quite a few feet here, which will be nice. So to reflect back on that again, the level of these stairs to this lower level will be the new ground level here. And all of that will be dug out. So that little hodgepodge hobbit room <laughs> size will be gone. So that will be lovely. This large open space here can become an amazing master suite. Down around that corner, I think was a scary little bathroom in a cave. <laughs> so plumbing will be all reconfigured and opened up and turned into whatever their heart desires. Be an amazing master suite down here. Here's a little, currently another little small bedroom. And it looks like somebody had a little apartment down here. This looks like it was a kitchen at one time. And I know they'll be getting all of that removed. So great space to work with. I previously came in. Open this door. This coming down the stairs here is a secondary terrace, which if this is a master suite, would make an amazing little master's private terrace. So they can have their own little space. Michael hasn't seen this, but the arch, so cool. So obsessed with that. Love arches in Italy. I hear a church bell. So this will be done beautifully. If I had my two cents to put in with decor, I would open that up there and put cement balustrades, quintessential Italian look. Here is the garden. And if it were mine, this, so this garden space from that wall all the way to that wall would be their garden. It has mature fruit trees. Leave the beautiful trees, have a path go out there, have a little viewing area built with a circular wall of um, cement balustrades. So making a little pavilion would be gorgeous. Be beautiful to sit in a nice pavilion with that view and the sea to your far left. I will venture down to the lower area. Once again, the arches, it's all about the arches. And this is a barrel fault ceiling, which is really cute. This makes a lovely level for a secondary patio. Here's a little side gate into a, a small little via alley access. Beautifully, I would get this beautifully paved. Once again, all about the arches, gorgeous. Plaster work will be beautiful in here. Beautiful paving, I'm sure, on the stairs. And once again, if it were mine, I would do this stairs in a cement balustrade, bring in that quintessential beautiful Italian villa look. Venture down around this little piece of furniture here, make sure I don't stab myself. But here we go into the yard. Nice little terraced area up here for plantings. Restaurant in the distance is for two, which is very nice. Restaurant only open in the evening, so short walk away to nice dining. Patrick and Rodrigo, I know you had that in mind. Ooh, I see some fruit. Nothing like mature figs and looks like lemons. Lovely, and over here, I see something orange, so we either have tangerine oranges. Yummy. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. Look at, already waiting for you. Oh, lemon, here's the yellowed one. Awesome, guys. Cocktail tree. <laughs> Limoncello awaits you. And something orange. And figs. Oh, something else for it here. Let me just look below so I don't step in anything. It's a very nice little yard space. Another fruit tree, guys. Something orange. <laughs> awesome. So as I was saying, imagine this whole area with a gorgeous raised uh, paved pavilion to really catch that view. And I'd get those beautiful balustrades that would frame the view beautifully. But whatever you choose will be beautiful, I'm sure. But look at that beautiful view, guys. You try to raise above, 
gorgeous, stunning view. Singing out here, dining, having cocktails, admiring the beautiful sea, the beautiful mountains. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations, Patrick and Enrico. There's those arches, lovely. So proud of you guys, so happy for you. I'm sure our viewers will so be looking forward to seeing everything when it's worked on and finished. There's your terrace up above, lower terrace below in the arches. I know they'll pick a beautiful color. It'll be stunning when it's done. Can't wait to show you folks. Once again, this is so nice. Beautiful day. Beautiful garden to be. Beautiful house. It shall become. San Nicola Arcella is a very well-kept and very clean village. As you will notice, the paved areas here are easy for people with mobility issues. Beautiful stone throughout, absolutely gorgeous. And um, another cool thing, it, you get a beautiful sea view, like I mentioned before, very similar uh, to the Malfi Coast towns. Um, Patrick and Rodrigo actually would not like to disclose the price that they bought the home for. I'm sure you folks will be curious, but they did allow us to say they got it at a quote-unquote very reasonable price. And I know they will be investing quite a lot to make it the beautiful masterpiece that it will become. <music> everybody a little tip too. A lot of people think you only can use a realtor or one of the sites, but here's what Patrick and Rodrigo did actually. Here's the case in point. If you walk through any of the Centro Storcos or any Comune in Italy, if you see a for sale by owner sign, you yourself, or if you have a translator, can contact this, whoever would be on a sign. This isn't their home for instance, but just uh, one through the village that I walked by. And you would contact, if you come to an agreement, with the seller, who would probably be the owner, direct for sale by owner situation, you can keep a realtor agent out of the equation if you feel comfortable, deal direct with the owner. Case in point of Patrick and Rodrigo, they went directly with the seller to a Natayo and did all of the agreements direct through the Natayo's office, not having to go through a realtor agent. So that's an example of what those fellas did. So if you're walking through and jot down a number yourself, that might be something of interest to you because these sometimes are not listed in listings like idealista.it or any of the um, M, you know, MLS type systems online. So you have to actually um, you know, go through villages, jot these down, take your photos and do your own due diligence. But just wanted to show you because that's what they did. So maybe it'll help some folks out if that's of interest. Or of course, if you're more comfortable, obviously go through a real estate agent or a property finder to assist you, whatever your comfort level is. Wow, folks, enjoy this beautiful mural art. It's got a nice guy with on a donkey and three cool dudes. Oh, wait a minute, Ta -da. it's Michael. <laughs> Gee, Michael, I thought you were part of the painting. <laughs> My little I have dork. this abstract of a look. Yes. <laughs> you fit right in with your beard. <laughs> Except I didn't think they had the cool glasses on back then, but. I have the cool hats. Yeah, looking good, doll. We need to get you a hat. <laughs> You're so cute. And we're having a celebratory dinner tonight at La Playa. Michael's having the grilled uh, meat platter with three types of meat. Sorry, I filmed after he cut in already. Steak, pork chop, and grilled sausage. 
We're having delicious mussels to share. I'm having a yummy veal scallopini and a white wine sauce. It's very good here. Sorry, I ate already a little bit. And mom's having a pomodoro salad with onions and the grilled meat platter as well. Isn't it good, and mom? It's so good. It is yummy, yummy. So, April and delicious wine. Good stuff. This has become so good. We do in enjoy it. In my mind, we're going to do a weekly yep. event here. We love the grilled meats. And birthdays. Meats. And, you know, grilled so meats are good. yummy here. And low carb meal, basically. <laughs> you get your bread and yummy, yummy. Enjoy, Mikey. Mouthful, like he likes it, it must be good. <laughs> but I know it's going to be beautiful. And after seeing that video, I'm sure you guys can understand why at the start I said I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> it's it is awesome. such a pretty structure. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And for <laughs> mobility issues, it's a really great find because like I said here, we've got these beautiful uh, ramps and um, even pavement here throughout Chincha Storico. No stairs to contend with, so that's great. Right. And they have a very beautiful yard. It's got a great view that's going to just polish up beautifully. And I mean, let's not lie, all of Italy is beautiful, but when you get to live in the Centro Storicos, it's kind of something special. Yep. So congrats, you <laughs> guys. I've already mentioned before that the um, uh, San Nicola Arcella very much reminds me of a hilltop Amalfi style town. So uh, with the, so close to Amalfi, the topography continues down this way and you get these beautiful cliffside towns set right on the sea. Gorgeous Whereas town. this is where my inner gay will come out, and <laughs> I will say that it reminds me of a Disney cartoon. It really does. It looks like one of the villages you used yeah. to see in all those animated films peaceful, that we all love. <laughs> peaceful, quiet, and well taken care of. And this is literally just like I'm talking in the car less than two minutes from yeah, our house. very close. Yes, to our Scalea Bio de Carpino neighborhood literally is connected uh, just, boop, San Nicola Arcella is just a few moments. Walkable, actually, if you were. See, and Justin <laughs> keeps saying walkable, and I keep daring him to make that I wouldn't do it. provable point. Michael to wouldn't do it, but if we had a lot of energy, <laughs> if you were very fit, it's definitely, you could walk from here to there to our house and no problem, but car rides literally less than two minutes, so boop. <laughs> so we know that because we counted. So anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed that episode, and it'll be very nice uh, when Patrick and Rodrigo get it done. We'll be very happy to show you the finished product. Yes. And we're going to end this video the same way we always do by saying bachi bachi, you guys. Mwah. Bachi bachi. And dare to dream. Definitely. Ciao. Dare to dream. Hope you all get to live your Italian dream if that's on your bucket list. But wherever you are in the world, enjoy life and live for your dreams. Take care. Ciao. Hey everybody, it's official. Prego Italia merchandise is here. So please visit the website shown here to get your hands on some Prego Italia gear. Hey everyone, so we have exciting news. We are now on Patreon and you can find the link to that right here below. There'll be the info for you to find us, Patreon. We actually, in advance, wanna thank you very much for your patronage. Thank um, you. Your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Bachi bachi. Bachi. Thank you to all of our wonderful patrons who help us to continue to grow this channel and share our journey with all of you.